let us take a close look at these values and try to figure out how they differ in terms of address bus bits. Their binary representation tells us that their distinct difference is their most significant bit. Any hex number in the range above 7 FFF has the highest address line, that's A15, equal to 1. Any hex number below 8000 has address line A15 equal to 0. So, we need the ROM chip to activate when A15 is low and RAM chip to activate when A15 is high. Memory chips have a special control line for activation called CS, Chip Select, or CE, Chip Enable, which is basically the same. The CS signal is also active low. If the IC is not active, its outputs will be in the so-called Z state, by impedance, which means that the pin is effectively disconnected. Such outputs are also called tri-state. Memory ICs also have the OE control signal, which stands for Output Enable. Since ROM can only send data, the CS and OE there have basically the same meaning. But for RAM, active OE means the data is being read from the memory. So, to decode these two memory ICs, all we have to do is use a simple inverter gate. 